what we are going to learn today is how to create scripted pipeline in Jenkins UI. So what is pipeline? So pipeline is nothing but, uh, you know, it is a Groovy based script that is used for defining your entire build process, entire deployment process, um, you know, even code uh, quality uh, process, test execution. So pretty much everything you can actually do starting from um, code checkout and all the way into production uh, deployment, right? Um, so this has a lot of benefits over uh, freestyle jobs. So freestyle is kind of a, a very simple way of, uh, you know, doing a build and automation, right? But pipeline is a little bit modern way. Um, so if you look at that, this uh, uh, diagram, you know, this is what pipeline is, right? So just like, you know, the name says pipeline, you can define your entire uh, process here, uh, you know, in the form of Groovy code and how you're actually going to write code. Um, you can actually see it here, right? So you can do everything, you know, in between node block and you just have to define a stage by stage. Okay. All right. So let's get uh, started here. Okay. So I already have my Jenkins running here. I also have uh, Sonar Cube as well as Nexus running. So we are actually going to create, uh, you know, um, pipeline job, which would actually integrate uh, with uh, Sonar Cube, Nexus, Slack, and, and Tomcat as well. So if you look at the pre-request, um, you must install the plugins, right? So if you look at the plugins, there are uh, several plugins available. So all you have to do is, you know, install that. I have already installed that. Okay, so I'm going to get started. All right, so click on a new item and then enter uh, pipeline name. So I'm gonna say, I already have a pipeline job with my first pipeline, but I'm gonna make it my second pipeline job click on pipeline and then say okay so scripted pipelines are nothing but you know you're actually making changes directly in the Jenkins UI right so this is where we are going to make change okay click on the pipeline block so this is where you are going to write pipeline code okay so I have already provided um, the sample code here um, you know the best way is yes you can copy and paste the entire pipeline code or I would actually strongly recommend to copy a uh, stage by stage right um, so let's get started here, right? So I'm going to say node, open braces and then close braces. And if you look at the very first stage, so this is my first stage, right? Check out. So obviously, right? So as soon as the code is checked in by a developer, we want to kickstart uh, this pipeline, isn't it? Okay. So this is the checkout stage. And here's the thing, right? So obviously we'll have to write a pipeline code. Good thing about Jenkins is, you know, they have something called snippet generator. Uh, so all you have to do is, you know, click on this pipeline syntax. So this page would uh, open up. All you have to do is, you know, uh, choose this option, check out from version control. Okay. And then um, you'll have to mention your uh, repo URL. So if you look at my repo URL, so this is my repo URL. Okay. And uh, select your, uh, you know, credential. That's it, right? And then yes, whatever the branch you are using, you will have to select that. That's it, right? And then you just have to click on generate pipeline script. What this would do is actually, you know, this is already creating a pipeline code for you, isn't it? All you have to do is just copy that and put in between here, okay? You have to put in between, okay? So that's important thing. And you can delete this one, okay? So that's our first stage, okay? And let's quickly check whether this is good or not. Okay, let's go and click on build now. So this would uh, obviously take some time depending on the internet speed. Wow, this is quick. Awesome. So look at here guys. Okay, so now we were successfully able to check out, uh, you know, the code from the repository what we have mentioned. Okay, now we can actually continue building the next stages, isn't it? So let's go ahead with um, build stage and then also code quality scan. So I want to, you know, do two stages here because both are very similar. Okay. So where you have to copy, you'll have to just copy below the stage. Okay. Like that. All right. Okay. So if you see here, this is the code for build stage. So if you see here, I'm using the Maven home variable, right? Which is declared in global tool configuration. Okay. So what I mean by that, let me quickly show you. 
um, if we go to Jenkins, manage Jenkins, global tool configuration. If you remember, you would have already registered, uh, you know, Maven, isn't it? So Maven is actually installed on this folder. So we are going to use Maven 3, this variable. Okay. So that is what you're actually going to say here. All you have to do is mention that here. Okay. Just have to copy that over here. That's it. Right. So that's it. And then if you look at this stage, this is for code quality scan, right? So we want to integrate with uh, SonarCube. Uh, if you see here, there is a variable called SonarCube. So where that is declared, that is actually declared under uh, Jenkins, manage Jenkins, configure system. So yeah, we are using this uh, variable. Okay. That's all right. Okay. All right. So that's that. And then, you know, you want to say Sonar colon Sonar, right? So this would actually integrate uh, with uh, sonar cube all right so let's quickly um say apply and save let's quickly run it let me make sure this runs okay Okay, I know I know the issue. So Sonar Cube, the URL got changed because we are using free tire. Every time you restart, the value changes. So let me go and fix that. Sorry about that. Okay, apply, save. I think now it should run. Awesome. You see here, now Sonar Cube is being integrated. Let's go ahead and, you know, add uh, another stage as well. So I want to add the code coverage and the Nexus upload. Um, you know, let me do until that. Go to pipeline. You just have to copy below here, okay? All right. So yes, code coverage is pretty straightforward. You know, you just have to say a Jackoco. Okay. So that would actually call uh, Jackoco plugin. And then, you know, it should be able to give you the code coverage report. And here for Nexus, we will have to use the Nexus URL. So this is our Nexus URL, right? So I'm going to copy that. You'll have to replace that with here. Okay. And then your credential ID. So this credential ID has to be replaced with whatever you have uh, for Nexus, right? So let me click on credential here. Um, let's look for Nexus, which is here. So I'm going to use that credential ID. So copy that. And then, you know, these are nothing but your, uh, the path of your war file, right? Okay. And then this is like artifact ID. So these are the things, you know, you can actually provide. And then our type is the war file. That's it, right? And then we want to upload into Maven snapshot. That is the reason why I have given the version as, you know, snapshot. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's quickly say apply and save. Let's do build now. So this will obviously take some time. Awesome. So as you can see here, uh, we were successfully able to upload into Nexus as well. So how do you know that? All you have to do is um, copy this URL if you go to Nexus 8081. And then sign in. 
admin admin one two three that's the password go to browse if we click on maven snapshots you see here this is where you know we are able to see right so our war file is being uploaded here every time you uh, sorry not you uh, every time developer makes a code change you know it's going to trigger the pipeline job and then you know jenkins would uh, build the war file and then it will upload here okay awesome so now we have built about five different stages let's go back to the instruction here we also wanted to you know deploy into uh, tomcat right so so this is our tom the code for tomcat um, how i got that let me actually show you okay uh, let me first copy this that's not that difficult go to configure pipeline so if you see here i do have this code right how i got that it's very simple if you click on the pipeline syntax i actually generated that code by using this one right see here deploy what to your container all you have to do is you know you mention the uh, path and everything and then you know you just have to click on generate pipeline script so that would actually create the um, you know code for you right um, so that that's what it is right see, see here that that's a credential id for tomcat okay that is nothing but it is actually from here okay so just letting you know right so this is the tomcat credential id so i want to use that so make sure you copy that and then put that okay so we have successfully added the dev deploy stage and then the next step is to add dev approval stage so what are we doing here we basically want to create like a workflow so that you know you can include a few folks here you know uh, in our, you know in order for them to approve or reject right so this is more like an interactive way of uh, you know uh, doing that right so i'm gonna copy that code just below that so this is the approval stage and you know you can actually include as many uh, you know user id you want right with the comma separated okay so so i'm gonna do that and then yes this is for you know how many days you know you want them uh, you know or you know to be in queue right seven days or four days or whatever you know you can give days hours however you know you wanted minutes right so you can actually do that all right so and then the next stage is let's send a slack notification all you have to do is just copy below that stage which is here so you know right after uh, you know the approval is done i want to actually send some push notification to my channel and uh, so this is where we have to give our channel name so this is the channel name i have already created channel so if you want to know how to integrate slack and uh, jenkins i will actually post that in my next video okay so this is the channel name okay um let's keep going and then you know we also wanted to uh, deploy into qa and then uh, you know we also want to have that you know queue approval stage right all you have to do is just copy copy those code here okay so that's my queue deploy stage and then this is my queue approve stage 